guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am awkwardly going to be showing you these two tight shorts. So these are the shorts that are bedazzled and beautiful. Um, and there's the back view. If I were in my 20s, these would be okay, but <laughs> I'm not in my 20s and they're just a little bit much for me. They're too small. I mean, they're, they fit, I think, correctly based on the way they're meant to fit but they are too tight for me and they're too high for me. I'm going to attempt to try and cut open the side and add a little bit of lace detail here and add a little bit of lace scallop detail here just so I can widen this a bit to make it less tight and make it a little bit longer because it's just a little bit uncomfortably high for me. Um, I mean, I suppose I could get away with it, but I don't want to get away with it. So, um, yeah, they're just, they're a little bit much. They're enough with the sequins, but then to be this tight on top of that, I think we're just going to see what we can do to enlarge these shorts and just make them a little bit more acceptable <laughs> for public consumption. All right, so I will show you what we're going to be working with um, in terms of um, trying to elongate these shorts. And I will introduce you to my mother-in-law, who is very kindly going to help me with this project. All right, here we go. So we have our materials all laid out and ready to go. So we have the shorts that we're going to try and um, pick apart these edges here. And add in this panel on the side to make them a little bit larger. And we're going to put this lace that we bought at Value Village, which is an op shop or a thrift shop in Canada. And so I just picked this up for $2 and we're going to put that on top of this so that it blends in a little bit more nicely as a side panel. And then to make the shorts a little bit longer, we're also going to put in a lace panel along the bottom edge like this and try and make the shorts a little bit longer. So those are the materials you're going to need if this works. If you're watching this video, then it did work. <laughs> so you're going to need a pair of shorts that you want to make bigger, um, your fabric, just a small amount because you, in theory, shouldn't need too much to make a side panel on each side, um, some lace if you want to use lace to try and make it blend in a bit more seamlessly rather than just adding in a side panel on its own, which is what I'm going to do, um, and then potentially tape measures. So we have that here just in case and then some scissors, um, and you'll also need a, um, what's it called? The picker of the seam, seam ripper? Yeah. And you'll need a seam ripper, um, so you can pick apart, obviously, the sides here, so that we can open that up and add in the panel. And then, of course, preferably a sewing machine, unless you're amazing and can do this by hand, which I am not. <laughs> so I will show you how we're going to put this all together, and hopefully you'll see a elongated pair of shorts in just a few minutes. So here are two panels for the side, and now what are we going to do? Oh, well we're going to pin them in place and then it will just be a matter of sewing them in. Alright, well, let's get to it.
are the final shorts. Are you happy with them? <gasps> Me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think they turned out pretty cute. And so we had the lace edging along here. And then that makes them just a little bit longer so there's less bum exposure. And then we did this cute lace panel on the side here. Um, and I guess our only tip would be, um, Liz, that we're going to be super careful with sequins when sewing, right? Yes, because they break the sewing machine needles. And so, so we learned that the hard way. We broke two needles <laughs> in the process of making these shorts. But they've turned out super cute. And so I'll put here on the screen um, what they look like on. Um, and I'll show you the before and the after. And I'm very pleased because before they were, they fit fine. But they just, um, they were just too snug for my liking and too short for my liking. So there's nothing technically wrong with them. But I just wanted to be able to wear my bedazzled shorts a little bit more. So that was a fun couple hours, I'd say. Very fun. Yeah, <laughs> we're very happy with these. Ah. These are the shorts. And so before they were just very snug around here. So we've just added this lace panel here. And so that, um, I, I was hand sewing this part with the sequins because that's really hard to do on the sewing machine. It can't, it will break the needle if you attempt to sew it along the sequin side. So I just was hand sewing this, and then my mother-in-law, who's the person you're seeing in the, most of this video doing the sewing, she did the sewing along the other side of the shorts and then all along the hem here just because they're a bit too short for my liking. So we just added a bit of lace um, that, like I said, we got from Valley Village um, for two bucks, and, the, and these were thrifted shorts as well, so those were only ten bucks. So $12 shorts that are super cute and super unique and fit well, so not bad. Hope this was an easy enough video to follow along. And if you want to see more stuff like this, please click like and please click subscribe and I will see you all very soon in cute clothes. <laughs> Bye!